what is up guys Behanger here so today I'm going to show you how to uh, remove or disable or hide the additional information tab from your WordPress website or your WooCommerce store so I have this excuse me this website called Angela coffee I where I have the description tab the additional tab the review and the the problem is that the additional tab for some clients or cons or customer uh, can be really annoying because it's too much information so to remove that you need to edit the the child theme right so you need to change the theme you need to paste this code that I will put in the description below um, you need to paste that in the child theme so I use Bluehost it's never recommended to to edit your, your theme within WordPress so this is this is WordPress you can you can edit your theme here or add uh, the CS as here but it's never recommended to so you will need to do that through the the file manager of, of your host provider so I am going to do that through Bluehost so if you have Bluehost that's simpler uh, because I'm going to do that through here so I'm going to log in and so while it's logging in I just want to tell you that this you know thank you for watching this account is just to help millions of people um, by giving my best uh, content for free and so I really hope this is gonna help you and there are tons of other videos like that on my channel if you want to take a look at so within Bluehost you will need to come under advanced to open the C panel so and then you open the file manager alright so when you've opened the file manager right you everything you need to do is under public HTML right this is where your theme will be located so I have multiple I have three websites and so this is the main domain that's why I'm having this but this is not the 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 website that I'm trying to edit so if you click on public HTML right you have um, you have WordPress content you have w WP content and then theme this is the theme if you only have one website you will open this and then pick up the theme but this is not the website that I'm trying to edit so on the public HTML I have these two other websites so I will need to select the the subdomain and so under the subdomain then you will see WordPress content this is the one that you open and then you have the themes so you open the theme now and then you select the theme that you want to edit so which is Ocean WP so once you have opened the 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 theme folder or subfolder you will need to edit this is where you will paste the code so this is the code and this is where you will paste the code on the function.php and so it's very uh, crucial that you you do this step that you duplicate your file first or that you back up your file before editing because it's usually not advised to edit the theme so what I will need what I'll do is that I will create a duplicate of this file as a backup and so to do that I will just come under here um, and then create a let's say a folder or maybe um, go back to content and then theme and then create a sort of sort of a subfolder just call duplicate or backup file backup function PHP now create that here 
and then this I will just you do a right click here or you can download that on your on your computer too as a backup but I'll just save it here and then you will copy the file and then you specify the path so it's wait let me just rename this so it's under one name backup function PHP all right this is how I named it and so I will just come here and then um, copy that under here backup function PHP copy the file and so now when I open this I also have the file so I know I'm safe if I mess something up and so um, you can I, I also advise to download the file so I will download the file on my computer in case something is ever messed up um, So now you need to do a right click and edit the file. So you see the even Bluehost tell you back up the original file. So um, in case there's unexpected result and then so if you if you backed up already then you edit. And so once you have uh, clicked on edit you just come at the end. You create a new line and then you just copy the code paste it and then save changes all right so when you've saved, saved the change you can close and let's see if that worked awesome awesome freaking awesome so now I only have the description and the reviews tab so my customer can really navigate and really they can navigate easily and they can also purchase the product quickly because they don't have to read through the additional uh, information tab so um, you can do the same and 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 delete delete the description or delete the review now this is very important don't go yet all right so imagine you want to add another tab another tab to this one this is this is easily done maybe you have more information you want to display um, I don't know uh, ratings or I don't know cut I don't know whatever you want to display if you want to add another tab then there is it's easily done via WordPress because there is a um, a plugin called uh, Y I T H. So basically, if you if you come um, on the plugins and then you click on Add New, you just come here and type WooCommerce Tab Manager. And so this plugin is used to basically add tabs if your product if your product page does not have tabs right if you're using I don't know a theme that does not include tabs automatically 
then you can use this plugin to add tabs to your product page so what you will need to do you will need to install and activate which i already did that's why you have activate here and so once you've done that then you will come back here on the tab manager uh y i t h and then make sure that enable plugin is activated you save the changes and then once it's done you come here on the tab manager you click on all tabs so what you want you see the you, you don't see any tab because the description and the reviews tab are, are embedded in the theme so um, that's why you don't see them here but you can add a new tab to those um, by clicking add new tab where you can just type the title of the tab you can provide maybe what you want to provide maybe a picture maybe some customer picture or gallery something like that you enable the tab uh, and then you just click on publish so when you will go on your product page you will see this additional tab and so I hope this was helpful guys if it was please um, like share subscribe comment down below if you successfully did it and if you still have struggles so we can try to figure that out uh, all together so I'm, I'm, I'm on a journey I'm on a journey to really impact as many people as I can you know um, by giving out my best advice or practical advice for free so if you want to support me on my journey just just subscribe and, and, and follow me and check out my youtube channel until next time take good care of you bye